Hey, so I ordered this new puzzle, Flatworms, from Wood Wonders. I don't know much about it, but let's have a look. Oh, these look lovely. Okay, so I'm reminded of a Soma Cube uh, immediately, although these are obviously different. Um, they're all beautiful, to different kinds of wood. They are, I think, identical, right? These are five identical pieces. And what does it say? It says it is easy to put two pieces together to make a prism. A shape with uniform height. Put three pieces together to make a prism. And then put all pieces together to make a prism with a hole. And then finally put all pieces together to make a prism with no hole. And this was designed by George Sickerman. Sickerman? Sickerman. March 2022. So that's a pretty new puzzle. So, um, let's see. As they say, yeah, you can make a, a cube. So that's a prism from two pieces. Of course, trivially, then I could make a prism from four pieces. <laughs> so that's why they don't mention that. But the question is, how do you make a prism from three pieces? So let's have a go at that. We'll use these three. Let's see if we can make a prism. three pieces to make a prism. There's not, there's not that many ways you can connect two pieces. I keep coming back to this shape which is just clearly wrong because it just doesn't leave room for a third piece that could make it into a prism. For it to be a prism now, we'd have to fill in all of this, right? And again, this has the same problem. So I guess the way I would think about what a prism is, is you take some two-dimensional shape, like the top of this, and you uh, sort of drag it downwards into a third dimension. As long as it's the same shape at any place where you cut through it, then I think that's a prism, right? So we want to be able to cut through whatever we've got. I, I'm wondering if it's going to be, is there going to be some solution where you're on an angle? Or am I talking gibberish now? I mean, who'd have thought such a simple concept could make a genuinely tricky puzzle? Just get three of these identical shapes to make a prism. <laughs> so first of all, the fact that such a solution exists is slightly amazing, but given that it exists, the fact that it's not easy to find is even more amazing. Well, this is quite close. If we filled this in, we'd have a prism. Hmm. 
Right, for it to be a prism, we'd have to put two across here as well, uh, and, and in fact, three across here. So you have the cross, same cross section all the way. Um, So it seems as though making a prism out of even numbers of them is, is always relatively straightforward. This is a prism, right? If we look at it that way up, we can see that's a prism. From four again, though. That's also a prism. Feels close somehow. I don't know. Well, we've just got these two blocks that where one of them wants to be on top of the other one. <gasps> there we go. Prism. Whew, it's kind of a fish shape. If you're a Rubik's cube. Solver, you'll recognize this as looking a bit like a, a soon or a soon a pattern. Uh, okay, so there we go. Now we've got three pieces uh, made into a prism. Oops. Can I get back to that? Ah, what did I do? I knew I was close earlier. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. The fish shape. Now the question is the second, the next challenge is putting all the pieces together to make a prism with a hole, all the pieces. Okay, so we'll, we'll, hang on, what if I start with that and this, oh. I mean, isn't that just a prism, <laughs> trivially? I guess, I guess maybe this doesn't count because they're not sort of connected. It's really two prisms. Um, anyway, how do we make a prism with a hole? I guess you want a sort of prism-shaped hole, right? So like a vertical hole like that, for example. I mean, again, I don't know, you could do this as a prism with a hole, as <laughs> a triangular hole, but I suspect that's not what the uh, puzzle setter is looking for. Um, but again, I mean, isn't this a prism made with all the pieces? I feel like maybe I'm missing something here. Put all the pieces together to make a prism with no hole. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there anyway. Um, I'm going to consider that I have made a prism of two and a prism of three, and when I join them together, I get a prism of five. So I've done one and three. I haven't made a prism with a hole. Um, unless, you know, I'm ready to count, you know, this kind of thing <laughs> as a prism with a hole. Uh, I feel like it's cheating. Um, but there we go. That's Flat Worms by George Sickerman. I think this is actually a thing of incredible beauty, just the, the simplicity of it, the idea that you can just take these really basic shapes and you can come up with a puzzle that has a solution that is non-trivial and hard to find is kind of remarkable. Um, 
so yeah thank you George for creating this thing and thank you to um, Wood Wonders for uh, turning it into a quite a lovely puzzle um, made of all these different coloured woods I feel like this is just dyed wood purple isn't it I don't know maybe I'm wrong um, the rest of them yeah these clearly are different woods so it's pretty nice um, there we go it's flat worms thanks for watching see you in the next video Bye.